for number 23, we do have to um, sketch these curves and then find the area between them. So we're first going to sketch the y is equal to cosine x, uh, this function over here. And we can already see that it's going to be constrained from x is equal to 0 um, all the way to x is equal to pi over 2. So we don't have to draw the complete cycle. So let us just break this down in half. This is this is pi over 4, and this is pi over 2. This is 0. And then um, all the way up here, it should be, this should be 1. Yeah, it's actually quite higher than the pi over 4. Um, so let us begin by drawing cosine of x. So cosine of x, it, it begins at 1, and then it goes to 0 over pi over 2. So it does, it does this. Um, and I, I also will take the chance to draw the other constraints. So... Um, this is x is, actually I did it in the wrong color. So um, x is equal to pi over 2. x is equal to pi over 2. Um, this over here is x equals 0. x equals 0. Um, this over here is y is equal to cosine of x. And now all we're missing is um, sine of 2x. Now we have to remember that sine of 2x is just the sine function that is oscillating twice as fast um, because it grows twice as fast. So the time for it to complete a cycle is not 2 pi, but it's just pi uh, because it grows faster. So instead of sine begins at 0 and the, the typical sine reaches its max height at pi over 2, but because it's oscillating twice as fast, it'll um, achieve its max height at, at here, at pi over 4. So we're going to go like this, and then after here, it's just going to go, uh, it's just going to go back to, to 0, yes. Actually, and this was very poorly drawn, but I I hope that you guys see it. So we can see that the area uh, the area between them uh, between these functions it's actually we actually divide it into two parts. So the first part is this one because it is constrained between x equals zero, cosine of x, and sine of two x. Let me just write, this is y is equal to sine of 2x. And the second part is this, this chunk over here that is constrained between x is equal to pi over 2, um, cosine of x, and sine of 2x. Now we can see that we're going to have to break up this integral into two parts because um, for this per first part over here, the purple function is the upper bound, and for this other part over here, the green function is the upper bound, so because they switch, um, we do have to break it up into two. So before we can set up our integral, we just have to find where these curves intersect. So all we're going to do is we're going to set these equal to each other. So cosine of x is equal to sine of 2x. So this, this might be a little bit difficult to solve like this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the double angle identity. So we have we know that sine of 2x uh, is equal to sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine of x. So I'm just going to go ahead and substitute this. So this is equal to 2 sine x cosine of x. Um, and if that's confusing for you, you should review some of your your um, your trig formulas and identities. So we're just going to bring everything over to the left-hand side, and then we're going to factor. So cosine of x 
uh, minus 2 sine of x cosine x is equal to 0, and therefore we have cosine x. Um, 1 minus 2 sine x is equal to 0. So this means that either cosine x is equal to 0, and it is equal to 0 at, this is pi over 2. Um, 3 pi over 2 it will also make it equal, but 3 pi over 2 is not in our scope right now. It's not between 0 to pi over 2, so we're going to ignore that. Um, and the other one we have, um, let's go, 1 minus 2 sine x is equal to 0, and therefore, um, when we divide this, when we divide this out, we do have that 1 over 2 is equal to sine of x. I just did some um, algebraic manipulation here. So sine of x is equal to 2 when x is pi over 6, right? Or 5 pi over 6. Now, 5 pi over 6 is outside our domain. Uh, for this, it's outside of our drawing. So we're just going to choose pi over 6. Therefore, let's now set up our two integrals. So integral number 1 is the integral from, from 0 all the way to pi over 6. And over here, the upper function is the one that's in purple. So it's cosine of x minus uh, minus sine of 2x minus sine of 2x yes um dx so this is this is equal to um actually and, and let's just put the two integrals together and then we'll we'll solve them step by step so and then plus the integral from pi over 6 to pi over 2 of now the upper function is sine of 2x minus cosine x, which is the lower function here, and all this times dx. And I guess dx, hmm, dx, and I guess I should have written a parenthesis here. Okay, so let's integrate these and then let's, um, let's evaluate them. So for the first integral, and I'll maybe just draw something here so we can separate these. So for the first integral, the integral of cosine is just sine. Um, so this is just sine of x. And now the, uh, the integral of minus sine of 2x, if you do a u substitution for u is equal to x, this will give you plus cosine um, plus cosine of 2x over 2, right? If we were to just say that u is equal to 2x, du is equal to um, 2dx, and then du over 2 is equal to dx, and then you would kind of just substitute that in. Um, so that is the result of the first integral, and then we're evaluating it from 0 to pi over 6. And then for our second integral, um, so once more, it is, we're going to kind of in our minds do u substitution for the uh, argument of sine. So then this becomes negative because the integral of sine is negative cosine. Um, so negative cosine, cosine of 2x divided by 2. And then minus the integral of cosine is just sine minus sine of x, all of this from pi over 6 to 6 to pi over 2. All right, so we're, um, we're ready to plug in our bounds. So sine of pi over 6, um, let's begin with the first, the first one here. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half um, plus cosine of 2 times pi over 6 is cosine of pi over 3. Um, so the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half, and then we divide it by 2, so plus 1 quarter, right? 
Um, and then let's subtract the lower boundaries, minus zero. Minus sine of zero, which is just zero, so minus zero. And then minus cosine of zero is one. Uh, and then divided by two, minus one half. So that is for the first integral. Now let's do the second integral. Let's evaluate the upper boundaries. So cosine, negative cosine of 2x evaluated at pi over 2. Um, this becomes cosine of 2 times pi over 2, so cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is minus 1, so this is minus minus 1 over 2. Th therefore, it's plus 1 half. Um, and then minus sine of pi over 2, so minus 1. And then minus minus cosine of 2x times pi over 6. So 2 times pi over 6 is pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So this is minus minus, so plus 1 half, and then divided by 2, 1 fourth, right? And then let's do the... Um, then we're just missing minus, minus sine pi over 6. So sine of, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, so minus minus plus 1 half. So let's see how this goes. So this is 1 half um, plus 1, 1 half plus 1 quarter minus 1 half plus one half minus one plus one quarter plus one half. So let's see, minus one half cancels with minus one half. Um, plus one half plus one half cancels with minus one. And then we're just left with one quarter plus one quarter, which is equal to one half. Um, let me write this better, which is equal to one half. Yeah, so one half is the answer to the area between these two curves, um, and all we did was we drew them, we realized that we did have to break this up into two different integrals. Um, we then look at, looked at our, their boundaries by setting them equal to each other and factoring, and then finally we just applied the integral.